Hi, we're David and Mark, and we're currently on a transatlantic voyage with Virgin Voyages from Miami to Barcelona. We're on a mission to fill our sea days with various activities, and on the agenda today is a champagne pairing with a difference. So come along with us as we head down to Razzle Dazzle on Deck 5, where we'll show you what it's like and tell you whether this upcharge event is worth the money. We're here at Razzle Dazzle on Bubbles and Bars. Right, yeah, so we're having um, chicken. Yes, so we're having fried chicken with three different champagnes. So there is a Moet, a Verve, and a Don Perignon. That's the expensive, that's the expensive one. So this is an upcharge um, event. Um, so I think it was $50? $50 each. $50 each, yeah. but with you getting the three glasses of um, champagne and fried chicken, it actually is well worth it. Yeah. Yeah. should be worth it, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So as the event began, we were led over to a table where we were sat with quite a few other people. Yeah, and everything was laid out ready to go really, wasn't it? Yep, all good to go. And whilst we were waiting for it to begin, we noticed we had some cracker type crisps, crisps. things. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've forgotten what the crisps were called, uh, even if they were crisps. Or crackers. Mm. Who knows? Um, but also, yeah, we've... We forgot to do a talking review whilst we were on the, the ship, so... We were just having too much fun. <laughs> That's so, the problem with Virgin, you have too much fun, and then you forgot to do, forget to do any of the videos. Yeah, but it means that we can now relive it with another glass. We can. Cheers to you. Mm. So we sat down, we had the crackers, and They then, weren't tasty, whatever they were. Yeah, I think they tasted a bit like paprika. Mm. In my head, I, something's telling me they were chicken skin crisps, but I don't know if they were. I don't think they were. Mm. I think I would have remembered if they were, because I love crispy chicken skin. Yeah. Give me the skin, especially if there's four of them. No, oh, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Coco, she's heard oh. the dirty jokes and she's come to tell me off. <laughs> Do you know, it's so long since we've done one of these videos. We've sat here and little Coco has come oh, yeah. along. Hi. Oh, thank oh, you. Can I have one? Don't. <laughs> oh, well, you got pied by the dog. <laughs> and then the event properly started and the lovely Valentina. Yes tried her best to talk through the history the of rubble. the champagnes. The issue was there was too many people and it was so noisy and razzle dazzle that we could barely hear her and we were sat. We like, were the closest to her. We were keen being sat at the front. Yeah. Um, so, of the content. <laughs> <laughs> but what I don't understand is if you go to other events on the ship, like Grog Walk, for example, they move around the ship and they have a microphone. So I feel like it's more complicated to have a microphone that connects to multiple sound systems rather than just in Razzle Dazzle. I don't know why she didn't have mm. a microphone connected to the speakers because it happens in other venues and it would have just made it so much easier and then she could have shouted over people and it made it, might have made people listen. Listen. Yeah, because bless her, people weren't listening. No, we were there. We were like keen, like, <laughs> like we're trying to hear you. We needed her to know that we were First class students. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my gold star? Um, yeah, so she talked through the sort of the history of the champagnes, mm -hmm. a bit about why they went with the chicken. Yes. Um, and the the batter on the chicken reacting with the bubbles in the fizz. Because science. Because science. <laughs> but interestingly, mm -hmm. we sort of knew that already because we'd been to something previously where it was Prosecco with battered fish and that was really good. Um, so we kind of knew about batter and bubbles, so if you are helping yourself to a glass of bubbles, then... Have a chippy tea as well. Have a chippy tea, or just the battered food. Yeah. Anything battered. So as the lovely Valentina talked her way through the wines, you could basically nibble on the chicken and sip away at the wine as, as much or as little as you wanted. Yeah, I think there was probably supposed to be a structure to it, because she did have her kind of sequence of going through the wines, but I think because people couldn't really hear her, yeah. that meant that then they kind of turned off a little bit and just helped themselves yeah, to so people what were order they wanted them in. The place. Um, but for the champagnes, you've got three glasses of champagne. So you've got um, a glass of Moet, again, A-star student. She, was asked, she asked the question of, is it Moet or Moet? And well, I think, I think you'll I find think it's, it's Moet. Moet. And if you've watched a previous video of ours, I can take the credit for that. You can. Because David tried to correct me away from it. No, yeah. you didn't. You tried to connect, correct me away from the fact that it's because it was a Dutch family. Or a Dutch origin. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> Yay, me. 
<laughs> so you got your full glass of Moet, then you got slightly less of your second glass, which was Verve. Click out. Click out. <laughs> Click out. <laughs> Do you know pronounce the T in that one? Is that a Dutch family? Excuse you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you pronounce the D in that one? I have no idea. No, I don't think you do. I think it's Verve Clico. Um, if we're incorrect, comment down below and let us know how wrong we are. <laughs> and then you got even less of the third glass, but that was understandable because the third glass was a Dom Perignon, vintage 2012. Oh, you well remembered. I did remember. So I think on the whole, <laughs> it, the $50 is quite good value. Because you get your three glasses of champagne, the Moet is $25 a glass. Yeah, so that's half of your 50 gone already. Yeah, and then the Verve, you don't get quite as much, but I still think it's a very decent portion yeah. of that, and that's normally about $29 Thir a glass. Say $30. About $30 a glass. Um, the Dom, I mean, granted, you probably got a half measure. If that. Yeah, I don't know, I probably bought about a half measure, but a, a glass of Dom on board is $65. So if you add all that up... Yeah, you get at least 50, if not more. Yeah, I'm not including the food, because food on Virgin is included anyway. Yeah. Which actually makes me think about the amount of chicken that you got. There wasn't a lot. Yeah, I would... The, my Before we went, I don't know why my brain had thought that it was like a substitute for a dinner or lunch. Mm. But it, it's like it's not it's about not, the chicken. It's a snack. If that. Yeah. <laughs> some people had three bits, some people had two. So I think one thing... If we go in into things that could be improved, I would say one thing that I would improve is having kind of bottomless chicken. Because I don't think I don't think there's any issue with that because like say food on Virgin is supposed to be included. Yeah. I feel like the price you're paying for the experience is more for the drink mm. rather than the food. And bring me on to another thing, because all the chicken was set out before we got there, it wasn't it wasn't cold, but it wasn't warm. No, it and was like in between. The flip side of that is because it, the champagne had been pre poured. That yes. wasn't hot, but it wasn't cold. No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we wanted the champagne to be chilled. So I think what they should do in the future, if anyone from Virgin is watching. Well, no, we did feed this back when we were on. Oh, show. we did, yes. But so, yeah, don't think that we're just kind of slagging them off after the fact. We did provide feedback yeah. whilst on board, just saying that in the future we think. The champagne should be poured as you're supposed to be drinking them, which would also help the flow for someone like Valentina because people couldn't start drinking the next one before she was ready to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And it would keep it chilled, so there's two positives to that one. And then for the chicken, serving that once everyone sat down so it's fresh, because we did ask for some extra chicken and they, they did, did provide it. Yeah. And it was so much nicer, like the batter was so much crispier, it was nice and hot, felt juicier because the first lot of chicken felt a little bit dry. Well, yeah, and I got the impression that they had over, not oversold the number, they had got a bit greedy on our voyage. I don't think it's usually a big, as big a group as was in ours. No, because it had originally sold out. I think we booked it on the day we got on board and it had sold out and then it automatically just became available again. Yeah, so I think they'd increased the group size, which maybe meant that that's why they pre-poured everything, because logistically trying to do it all for a bigger group wouldn't have worked for them. Yeah. So maybe if you've done it, you might have had a different experience. Yeah, or do two sittings. If you want to sell that many tickets, fine, but do two sittings. Two sittings. Yeah, yeah. But I think overall... Uh, yeah, having said all that... Good value, I think it is good value. I would do it again. I would try it again yes. one more time, because I think it's a good concept. It's, it's something fun to do on board. Yeah, especially I think if there's a group of you, it's probably yeah. a nice thing to do. We were in a group with some friends that we made on board, um, so it was quite fun from that perspective. Um, I think if you're on your own, as a solo traveller, I feel like there wasn't enough kind of time for people to build rapport with each other, apart from when people were talking over Valentine's. Oh, so you mean it's not like a social thing like a grog walk? No. No. But I do think if you want, regardless of whether you're solo traveller or not, if you want to try some of the champagnes that you wouldn't normally buy mm -hmm. is a good way of having a taste of different champagnes. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because we would never normally get a, a glass of Dom because no. it's expensive. But having it included in that meant that actually you do feel like, even if it's not good value for money, like if you look at the bottom line behind the scenes, it might be, well, they probably still are making a profit on it. You feel like you're definitely getting good value for money. Yeah. 
Well, maybe we've managed to cobble together a video out of that. Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully we have. And if we have, we hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> we've got a couple more of these sort of review type videos of events we did on board whilst we were trying to fill our eight days at sea. Yes. Um, so make sure you keep your eyes out for that one. Yes. And if you've enjoyed this or if you've got any feedback on this, like if you'd prefer us to do something else. <laughs> Like, quit. <laughs> no, no, not quit, but I don't know, do a sexy dance. Oh. No one wants to see that, do they? Please subscribe to us. Yeah, help us. Help me, I'm poor. Also, just as a little thing, I lost my job yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> so now Keep we, it light, Mark. Keep it light. We need this more than ever. <laughs> yeah, Mark's unemployed now. We're in a sole income household. <laughs> hilarious, isn't it? It is hilarious. And if you have enjoyed this video, watch this one next. Don't cover me up. <laughs>